good things are happening good things are happening and I want to share the good things inside my community because none of it would be possible without your support if my digital community in this in the covid time did not respond so positively prompting me to create this product supporting me when i created this product the levels would carry me the levels that it has gone it just would not be possible so i'm i'm doing this live to give you an update q massacre to give you an update on something good a seed that has been planted that has been diligently watered, that has been cultivated when it's easy to cultivate and when it's hard to, cult to cultivate. Um, and that is bearing fruit. There is reaping happening in this season and I am grateful coming on to share that with you and also to say thank you for the role that each of you uh, would have played in making this a reality. So, as most of you probably already know, I'm a public speaking coach, and I decided to um, create an online public speaking course in late 2020, about October, November of 2020. Now, this is after years of uh, my friends, especially Stasia, asking me, why have you not created a program to teach people what you know about public speaking because this is something that challenges persons at the level of fear and dread and you do it so easily people comment asking how did you learn to do that could you teach them they would love to learn from you why has so much time passed without you creating a course that helps people to master public speaking and in late 2020 I was going through my own shift and transition at the time a lot of things were out of place and I think that that's what made it the perfect time to create something new. I've said before that there is, in fact, I didn't say it this way. Um, Simone Clark Cooper said it when I was on a Sim Soul session with her. There is value in the valley. She put it beautifully. There is value in the valley. And in late 2020, I was in my own valley. I mean, there was a shared global valley, right? The job that you had um, was no longer secure. In my case, I had a, a nine to five um, related to, to politics, but after the election loss, you know, budget was gone, the role, all of that um, would have transformed. And so while I wasn't unemployed because I did have two other businesses, that kind of steady income, that comes from being employed to an organization versus being an entrepreneur for yourself, lost that. Um, so, so the context of the valley also had the regular implications that everybody uh, had to face around financial uncertainty and changes in, in earning patterns and opportunity to make money. And so it was the perfect time for me to create something for myself. I had the time, I had the skill, I had the resources and the know-how to create it. And I had a ready audience and I created the Speak With Courage um, online public speaking course. Since creating that course, we've registered, so it's from late 2020 to where we are now, which is almost fall of 2022, so just short of two years. Since creating that course, um, we were able to register and we are still having rolling enrollment of upwards of 500 students. I don't have the precise count now, but it's over 500 students that we've enrolled in the course. Um, and I remember when we opened up for the first cohort, we had about maybe 100 students in the first cohort. And I was shocked, I was frightened because I thought that I'd probably get 20, 25 max. Um, so from the first time we opened the course, it was, I would say oversubscribed in the sense that I was not prepared to train those numbers. Like I was shocked, but we continued building. We continued refining the course, updating the modules, adding um, different elements to, to each of those modules, doing pop-up lectures, and of course, marketing um, so people would know that the course existed. And in 2022, good things are happening, right? In 2022, I got an email from what Forbes magazine describes as the Netflix of books. You see how Netflix is for movies? This platform is like Netflix, but for books. 
So people who are authors, and then they decided, um, I suppose, as a result of the, the um, pandemic and the opportunities for online learning that they were seeing, to expand into course creation. That company emailed me and asked if I would be interested in joining their team as an author slash coach. And they would use content I had already created. Um, and this was content that I was sharing for free on my page. So I would do lunch, um, what did I call it? Lunch and learn sessions where I would just be giving away free tips, free information, strategies, approaches, coaching, um, about 45 minutes to an hour in length for some of them uh, on public speaking. I was giving this away for free, right? I still had a course to sell, but I was also putting out information there for free so people could just pass, pick it up, learn, take a tip, apply it. And they saw the free content that I was not charging for. And that piqued their interest. They reached out and asked if they could create a sort of sub-course. So not what I'm teaching in my online course, but a sub-category around speaking your mind courageously. So not just getting on a stage, being trained to deliver a presentation, convict an audience, sell a product, um, and kill your fear, but to be able to speak your mind courageously. And they would pay me. They would take my free content. They would create a course and then they would pay me um, to, to license or for the license to use my free work. I shared the email with Stasia. We set up the call. We did the, the, the initial call. They explained to us it was so simple what we needed to do. And I am pleased to announce that that course is now available. The name of the platform is Scribd, C-S-C-R-I-B-D. Now, if you are an avid reader, if you've spent any amount of time online reading, like trying to get e-books and audiobooks, you would know Scribd. Scribd was there before Amazon even knew that we could be selling books on this platform and audiobooks. Like Scribd is foundation. I think they have about 60 million um, audiobooks. Like when you think about audiobooks, Scribd is foundation. And I think that's why they call them the Netflix of books. And they are moving now to be the Netflix um, of, of, of coaching and online learning. And I am one of the creators with a course, with an audio course on Scribd. Guys, I have no more glad bag. I mean, this has been a year that assaulted my glad bag. There have been moments where me just like me wonder where concrete I go. Cause to all this feel hard and tough. Uh, who mixed up the concrete I put yourself? There have been moments and we are still experiencing some of those moments, right? But we're not losing faith and we're not losing hope and we stand always in the gratitude and the abundance because that is what I'm experiencing now. Abundance. Something that started in a valley when I wasn't even sure that it would do well late 2020. And now, a huge platform like Scribd reached out to me. Like I would not have even known to ask them, to approach them, to tag them in anything that I'm doing. I don't know how them find my, my platform. I don't know how them find my content, but they sat down and they went through those hours of free content I was giving in my lives and pitched an audio course which is now live. I am grateful. Good things are happening. And so I had to come on today to share that with you, to say thank you to everybody who has purchased or speak with Courage course, persons who've completed the course and received their certification, um, persons who are in the last lap of completing their course and are about to get their certification. And also, the individuals who are registering now for my one day public speaking workshop. It is a manifestation of a dream that has been in my spirit, an idea that has been in my mind, an intention that took a while to get to, to stage action. And I'm so excited about the response to this idea, this product, this thing that I was able to create, the response, the uptake, the interest and now the expansion of the audiences that I'm going to be able to reach as a public speaking coach. Me, grateful, 
bad if you have ever sent a video to a friend with one of the tips i've shared thank you if you have paid for somebody to do the course because your sister them could have do with some public speaking training thank you if you have dm'd me to just ask me a question about the course even if you had not bought it thank you if you bought the course whether you start it yet you got stuck in the middle and distracted or you have graduated <clears throat> and matriculated out of our course with your certificate thank you uh, thank you i am beyond grateful because i'm certain every single click every single comment every single share everybody who pauses to read a caption to watch a video leads to something happening in the algorithm that would have led led the the person scouting for coaches and content to my page so i do not take even a like that you have given to my content for granted thank you thank you thank you if if you are interested in the course it's available on scribd um and it's called speaking with courage uh, and it's meant to guide you on how to speak up for yourself or to speak your mind courageously uh, the link is in my bio i'll be sharing it in my stories once i'm through with this live um, but you can also go straight to scribd and just type in speaking with courage crystal tomlinson and if you're interested in that course please go ahead and purchase it i think you get access through a monthly subscription to scribd um, I, I, i'm not i don't think you buy the what let me not say i'm still learning that part of the platform um, but of course with a subscription you're able to access the millions of audiobooks that are available so if you think audible have enough book you want to script listen i'm my mind is blown i'm open even more now to the abundance and the opportunity that exists i'm literally counting my blessings i'm literally looking at the work that the creator is doing in and through me i'm looking at the impact that it is able to have and I'm staying focused on that. I'm believing that the good in me is bringing good to me. I am believing that even if I'm in the valley, I will plant because something good can come from even what looks bad. And I'm using those lessons and the evidence of excellence, me earning the excellence through work and putting, putting in the sweat, right? We talk about sweat equity. You eat by the sweat of your bro, putting in the sweat planting the seed and showing up with discipline to water it i'm seeing it pay off and i am grateful it is encouraging it is ins inspiring and i share it with you too in the hopes that it will inspire you to pick up the liquor seed that thing that you believe that is on your heart for a reason that special skill and talent that you have but you've been convincing yourself that you are not the kind of person you have not done this before um how are you going to market it nobody's interested there is an audience for every product you simply have to believe enough in yourself to take that risk and take a chance. Thank you guys so very much for the support. If you are interested at all um, in any of our public speaking products, please click the link in my bio. As I said earlier, we have a rolling enrollment for our full six week, six module Speak With Courage training program, which goes in depth on the fear of public speaking, how to overcome that fear, how to organize your speeches and presentations. Um, how to set up your arguments for compelling presentations using the, the tools of psychology to convince people to take action, psychology and persuasion to convince people to take action. Um, we do voice assessment inside that course too. So you can do a voice audit to see where you need to improve on the voice quality, whether it is pitch, tone, pace, breath, um, enunciation and pronunciation, all of that. Uh, and we also have a section that deals with listening and how to manage Q&As. And one of the beautiful things about the course too is that it is a growing course. So we make sure you have lifetime access. Once you purchase the course, you will never lose access. And we continue to expand the course with new pop-up lectures. So when we see a particular need arise in the space of speaking, um, I will lead a pop-up lecture that's live, uh, adding new content to the course. So it is not static, it grows. And that's why we make sure all of our students have lifetime access. Hi, Kadeen Thompson. How are you? Um, thank you so much, Cass I Works. Uh, right, so I was sharing that if you're interested in any of our public speaking products, we do have rolling enrollment for the Speak With Courage online course. And that's strictly virtual. Even your check-in session that you have with me, your one-on-one -on -one session with me is strictly virtual. Um, 
But also, if you had not heard, I'm having a one day workshop. It's the first time since I launched the course in late 2020 that we're doing something face to face. And so we have limited seats because it's a workshop and I'm going to be working with you. So it's not going to be like big lecture style where I just say some things and you just have to take your notes and go home. We're going to do some work in that workshop. And we're looking, well, just some more details on the workshop. It's happening on September 25 uh, and it's at the UB Mona campus. We are going to be going from, 10 a, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday, September 25. So the cost for that full day workshop is 149 US dollars and depending on the conversion rate for your bank um, you'll be able to calculate that rate but it's 149 US dollars to register for the course um, from 9 to 4 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. so we go in for seven hours of training six because there's an hour in there for break and we're looking at some 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 skills that people need now a wide range of professionals um, and young adults need now the, the skill and, and the ability to communicate your ideas with confidence. Too many of us are standing up in rooms unable to articulate what we believe, what we would like to say with confidence. The voice sounds shaky. We're looking all over the place for approval. We can't find the words. The mouth get dry. The memory get shot. The and them start tremble and sweat paper drop out and I have to walk off a stage. We're not doing that with our lives after 2022. Because there are ways to train and improve your ability to deliver on stage. And I'm looking forward to doing that in person with our students inside this one day workshop. We're not going to be doing that in, 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 our, in our, our boardrooms anymore. We're not going to be doing that in the conference rooms anymore. We're not going to be doing it on a Zoom call anymore. We're going to be able to get up and articulate what is on our mind with confidence. We're also looking to serve people who are in managerial positions or supervisory positions who are very afraid and feel exposed and naked when they have to stand up in front of their teams, give instruction, give guidance, be challenged, be asked questions on the spot and feel incompetent because as the team leader, you can't respond um, in a way that is confident and clear and also honest right because i'm not training anybody to use their words and wield them for lies it's to help you to use your words to communicate the truth in a way that is convincing and confident when you finish speaking so i know we do have people in positions of, of authority of leadership you can be a student leader you can be a supervisor you can be a manager you can be a ceo but when it's time for you to get up in front of the teams that you lead the anxiety is overtaking you when you finish talking, you have not inspired the people who are reporting to you. When you finish presenting, people are still unclear and lost and asking so many questions because you are trying to race through the presentation so you could sit down and stop talking. You're getting opportunities to participate in conferences, to, to speak and train at workshops, but because you're afraid of speaking in public, you're declining these invitations. So our workshop, our one-day workshop is meant to target and to help those individuals who struggle to speak confidently, who lead teams and so their professional brand and image is impacted because they can't communicate confidently but also to persons who are in the field of marketing public relations you probably have built a brand and you are currently the face of that brand you may be assigned to another person's brand as their brand manager their PR lead their communications um, assistant or executive and you need to be able to represent them well what are the key mes messages? How clearly are you able to communicate that? Is that compelling enough? Do you have your elevator pitch ready? What is it that's causing your voice to shake? Why is it when people ask you a follow-up question, you can't find the answer? So the aim and the outcome at the end of our session is to make sure that everybody who leaves has one, a personal strategy to help them overcome the stage fright and the cowering in front of the crowd and the nervousness and anxiety that comes with speaking up in public. We also want to ensure and will ensure that you, you leave with a speaking script so that, and I don't mean a script that you're going to read every time, but a framework so that you have an answer for every situation, no matter what people ask you, no matter what they're asking you to comment on, you are able to generate a response because we have a speaking system that we're going to show you how to use. Everybody who leaves will also have an introduction, a clear, compelling introduction about who you are, who your company is. Um, serves what products you are selling what you do and why people should take an interest in you when we are done you must be able to say that clean and clear nobody should have any questions except give me a number where do I find you how can I do business with you we want you to have an introduction that is sticky 
people want to stay with you and there's a strategy to do that the strategy is best served up in the first 30 seconds of your communicating with that person and we want to teach those skills to people in person so when i say it's a workshop you know we have a pause and we have a write and we have a practice and we're gonna get feedback because when we leave that workshop on the 25th you're more sharp like a whistle like nobody not supposed to can catch you off guard unless you choose to be caught off guard because you have your armor we want everybody who leaves our session to have the speaking armor, to be able to get up and use their voice. Most people lost their voices when they were in their living rooms and dining rooms from mommy, daddy, grandma telling you to shut up, be quiet, go one side, you should be seen and not heard. And so having lost the voice in the dining room and the living room, it's hard to find that voice now in the conference room. And that is the audience that I'm looking to work with. Those are the people who I want to reach, who've been told from they were young, from they were small, growing up into young adulthood and knowing adulthood that their voice did not matter. Nobody cared to hear it. Shut up. And so they are out of practice with that instrument of power. My voice is what I have used to get me as far as I am. This voice that I have, persons recognize the voice and the power of the voice and help me to refine that voice. But if I was not speaking, if I was not sharing, if I was not articulating, if I didn't open my mouth, if I didn't choose to speak with courage, nobody couldn't see me, nobody couldn't hear me, and nobody couldn't open a door for me. I'm taking this opportunity too to just speak a blessing over the spirit and the life energy that was Francois Saint-Just. I, I shared on my page that he was my first mentor in media, and it don't mean nobody else in media never helped me yet, you know. But when I think of mentorship, I think of hand-holding, I think of guiding, I think of correction and sharpening of edge, right? I think of counseling, I think of chastisement, I think of opportunities being opened up and people actually watching where you're taking, taking advantage of the opportunity and correcting and guiding you even as you're taking the opportunity. That was Francois, my very first mentor in media. He passed away yesterday and... I reflect even now and it's going to be a long long time before I stop reflecting on the doors he opened for me and how he saw my voice when it was unrefined but because I was brave enough to use it he was able to hear it and say come here let me give you a space and a platform let me train you let me guide you let me give you opportunity so bless his soul may it rest in peace may it rest in peace we all commune with gratitude over your memories over the impact and I want thing me know me now do. I shame you because if you open the door for me, I say she for the pan radio. <laughs> she is to be heard. She must have impact. Put her in the living room and in the car. And if you hear that girl advice, I'm going to use it and I'm going to use it well. I'm very, very grateful for that opportunity. And so it is a pleasure for me to be able to create a product that gives people that opportunity too. To find the voice that you lost in your living room so you can use it up in the boardroom right to, to recover the ground that you would have lost after 15 20 30 years of thinking that you don't have a story and you can't talk because you don't have a platform and nobody cares and no one showed you how the intention is to break those curses is to break those chains is to break those patterns and allow you to find that voice own it and stand up and speak with courage so if that sounds like you if you are somebody with a young adult you're in um, high school you're in university you're in the world of work now and every time somebody asks you your opinion you're afraid you tremble your core you want to back away and stand down if every time somebody challenges your opinion same thing happens you feel afraid you're worried about the criticism you think people are looking down on you and so you go back into the shell there's a strategy to ensure that you are able to show up in every rhetorical situation is what we call it in public speaking there is always a way to respond and sometimes silence is a response you know but we're gonna use silence strategically not because we're afraid not because we don't know what to say but because we understand how to use strategy as a i mean silence as a tool of communication we understand how to use silence as a tool of communication so i'm looking forward to to serving the persons who are registering have registered will register for our speak with courage one day workshop again it um it happens on september 25 sunday september 25 from 9 a.m to 4 p.m it's going to be happening in kingston at the ue mona campus which is in papine and 
We're going to be face to face. There is no virtual component to this workshop. If you want virtual public speaking coaching from me, it's going to be through the online course or six week, six module program. And that has rolling enrollment. That's a powerful way for you to start too. But if you know you need more, if you know you need live and immediate feedback as you're speaking, if you're going through um, speaking challenges that hinder you from getting the words from your brain through your mouth, Come to the one day workshop. If you know somebody who gets nervous when it's time for job interviews, they get nervous when it's time for TV and radio interviews and newspaper interviews. Lord, if somebody invite them for a live, they don't know what to say, but they're doing good work and they ought to get platform and, and, and opportunity to share with an audience, but they do not have a strategy to communicate their thoughts, their passion, their work, their ideas. And so fear locks them out of being seen. Fear prevents them from being heard. Fear stops them from having an impact. Let me work with you. Kemar A. Brown, I can't wait until you're back in Jamaica because you for sure is going to be one of the face-to-face -face students. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much. Again, I am grateful for all of the support, all of the um, recommendations, positive feedback that has come. Um, and if you're joining our live late, just repeating that we have officially launched our course live on Scribd or audio course, Speaking with Courage, um, how to speak your mind, how to speak your mind. Oh, oh man, jeez Louise, I'm so excited. Scribd, if you've never heard of it, um, is described by many as the Netflix of books. And so I'm honored to be among the, the myriad authors and creators who have their products on Scribd as an author slash coach um, through their, their um, personal development series. So yeah, speaking with courage, Crystal Tomlinson, you can type that in on Scribd or you can click the link in my bio. You can click the link in my bio now and go straight to it. Guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna keep doing the work. Um, oh, if you want to register, just seeing your question, Rax. If you want to register for the one day workshop, the link is also in my bio. You can also just send me a DM. Just send me a DM and say workshop, workshop, and I will reply and send you the link. Um, and if you're in front of a computer while you watch this on your phone, you can just type in thesuccessfarm.com slash workshop. Thesuccessfarm.com slash workshop um so yeah that's how you're able to register for the workshop again it happens on september 25 it's live it's in person there's no virtual component uh register quickly because we have limited when i say limited i mean limited guys because i'm going to be working one-on-one -on -one, i have to be careful how many people are in the room who will need to do work with me one-on-one -on -one. so as soon as those seats are filled we're going to close registration so don't bother wait till the 23rd and the 24th register as soon as you can if you know this is something that you need Go ahead and register right, 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 right now. So um, seeing a, a comment here from Stone Love, I've seen a response from Stassi that I, I travel and can be booked for trainings. I'm not sure the question that um, Stone Love had asked, but feel free to send me a DM if you're trying to figure out how to book me for training um, and I'll you know give you the necessary details to, to start doing that. So again, speaking, Yes, speaking, learning, training, and knowledge, but also being able to speak and communicate is what allow, allows me to be such an effective um, coach, corporate trainer, productivity coach. Uh, just using the voice, using the voice, knowing what you know, sharpening up on the knowledge side, and knowing, knowing what you know so you can speak that confidently and clearly. Thank you so much, guys. I can't stop to thank you. Living and standing in gratitude, Manalai. So you can look out in my um, stories. I'll put the link there so you can tap through. Remember, you can just send me a DM workshop if you're interested in our one-day public speaking workshop. Um, the link is also in my bio or you can head straight to our website at thesuccessfarm.com slash workshop. So excited about what 2022 still has to offer. The year not done yet. I may tell it a frost with the abundance. I'm fully frost right now. <laughs> I'm frost out. I'm so grateful, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 It is a pleasure to be working in my purpose and to be serving the world while I work in that purpose. But what is purpose if you're not serve people? Don't it? Thank you. Love and blessings, everybody. Take care.